This video was made possible by Squarespace. Build your website for 10% off at squarespace.com slash HAI. In Longyearbyen, Norway, it's illegal to die. Now, keen viewers will notice that I've already talked about this place in HAI number 5, but any good writer knows that if something works once, reuse it to death, sort of like with Family Guy. Longyearbyen is just so interesting, and in fact, I should probably just go and film a video there, but you know, it's cold. Longyearbyen is so insanely far north that by going over the North Pole, it's closer to Barrow, Alaska than Milan, Italy. It's so insanely far north that the sun does not rise for four months in the winter and stays up for four months in the summer. It's so insanely far north that the average winter temperature has warmed by six degrees in the past 30 years. Oh wait, that's not a very fun fact. That's not a very fun fact at all. For how far north it is, Longyearbyen is a surprisingly large town. Over 2,000 people live there. In fact, there is no larger town further north than Longyearbyen. Because of this, Longyearbyen has the northernmost university, cell tower, circus, art gallery, bowling alley, swimming pool, bus station, gas station, commercial airport, department store, bank, fire station, ATM, Toyota dealership, bar, and kebab restaurant in the world. It's a legitimate town, but it's still 1,200 miles north of Oslo, so there are some quirks. For one, polar bears live there too, and they occasionally eat people, which is bad. So it's actually illegal to leave Longyearbyen without a gun. Possibly for related reasons, there's also a monthly limit to how much alcohol one can buy at 24 cans of beer, two bottles of liquor, and half a bottle of fortified wine. While local residents carry an alcohol card to track their quota, visitors have to present their airline boarding pass from their arriving flight at the liquor store. Longyearbyen even bans cats to save the local population of arctic birds. They just love banning things. But now for the clickbait. Dying is illegal in Longyearbyen. As you can probably tell, Longyearbyen is no beach resort. The average temperature in February is 1 degree Fahrenheit, so things tend to freeze and stay frozen. In places as cold as Longyearbyen, there's what's known as permafrost. By splitting this word into two, you can get a sense of what it means. You see, perma means permit me to show you how to put this word into Google so you can find out that permafrost is where the ground stays below freezing permanently. While it may rise above freezing above ground, places with permafrost, such as Longyearbyen, will always be below freezing below ground, which happens to be where you put dead bodies. The same principle that keeps your chicken nuggets edible for years on end in the freezer does the same to bodies. Not keep them edible, I mean, I guess technically, but just don't eat people. While it may seem pretty great for bodies to not rot away, it's not. You see, in 1918, a few people got the flu, about half a billion to be exact, in what came to be known as the Spanish flu pandemic. Of the up to 100 million individuals who died, 11 were in Longyearbyen, so they established a graveyard that looks like this. When you put a corpse into a giant underground freezer, it turns out that you don't just preserve the body, but you also preserve the viruses inside the body, and so lurking below Longyearbyen are some of the only active samples of a flu strain that killed 5% of the world's population, which is actually quite useful. Researchers still don't fully understand why the 1918 flu was so deadly, and they don't just have samples lying around, so these bodies buried in the Arctic permafrost potentially hold some of the clues that could stop a future global pandemic. But in the meantime, you really don't want diseases that could obliterate future civilizations just laying a few feet underground preserved for eternity, and Longyearbyen agrees. So that's why death is now illegal in this small Norwegian town. If you're near death, you're flown down to the mainland to live out your final days, and if you die unexpectedly, well, there's no space for you here. If you want to start a travel agency for dead bodies, you're going to need a website, and there's no better place to build your website than Squarespace. Whether you run a company, a YouTube channel, a podcast, or anything else, you want your first impression to count, and Squarespace is the expert in exactly that because their beautiful customizable designer templates help you make a website that you can be proud of. Having a web presence for whatever you do is incredibly important since that's how people find you. And the best news is that you can start building your website right now with Squarespace for 10% off by going to squarespace.com slash H-A-I.